At this point, we want to get started on the high LOD. So first you want to make a duplicate of this and move it to the second layer. So right click the lantern, shift D to duplicate, left click, hit the M hotkey, layer 2, as we look down here, we'll see that now we have a little dot in layer 2 that shows us there's something on that layer. So, right click that lantern on that layer, go over to Object, make sure this is named MED. LOD. Then we can go over here, and this is named with an increment on the end, but we're not going to worry about that at this moment. We're going to name this after we finish with it. Okay, so just leave that for now. So make sure that the lantern is selected, this one right here, on the first layer. This is going to be our high LOD after we finish with it. Tap to go into edit mode. Go to edge selection mode. We're already in it. We're good to go. Right click select an edge on the lantern's body. Now we're going to hit control L to select all the connected geometry of this lantern body. Alright. Now hold shift while right click selecting an edge on the bottom rim. So you're holding shift, then right click. Hit Control L. You want to do the same thing to the top rim. Shift right click any edge control L so now you have both rims and the lantern body selected now we want to separate this selection away from the rest of the mesh so hit P and separate by selection now you have two objects hit tab to go back to object mode right click select the lantern body and rim object that's this one you can see it by we have the orange outline around it the color of this outline might be different in your blender but basically you'll notice that you have this highlighted edge for your active object so now we want to go over to the properties window and click the little wrench icon to bring up our object modifiers tab click add modifier go down to subdivision surface we want to leave this at the default and hit apply tab to go back to edit mode and use the hotkey A to select all. Scale the selection uniformly. Press the S hotkey then type 1.1. .1. Then hit enter. Or you can left click to confirm whichever you want. Now go up and file save, save as so that you don't lose any work. Now, I'll select all. And alt right click select the middle edge of the bottom rim to select the middle edge loop. Move it down on the x-axis. Type G 
then z, then negative 0 0.3. And I'm going to left click to confirm that. Alt right click select the bottom edge loop then scale it uniformly. Type S then type 0 0.95. Go to the top rim and alt right click select the top edge. You might want to pan it down a little bit. And rotate a little here. Scale. Now we're going to collapse this edge. So we're going to go S, 0. And hit enter. Click the hotkey W and remove doubles. That's going to remove all those vertices at that one point and make it just one vertex. Now we're going to switch to vertex selection mode. Go in here. Click Limit Selection. It's visible. We want to turn that off. So now we want to go back to the front view. Click Numpad 1. Press the B hotkey to activate the box border select tool. Draw a rectangle around the newly collapsed, collapsed edge and top edge. Scale on the Z axis. Type S, then type Z, then type 0. Now, left click to confirm that. Now you see that it has flattened it perfectly and aligned it. Now let's go back to edge select mode. Click the Limit Selection to Visible button on the header to turn it back on. We don't need that anymore. Oh, I accidentally went to wireframe mode. I hit Z to go back. Now I can turn this off. Remember that Z is the hotkey to go between wireframe and solid. Alright, now let's alt right click select the top rim edge. So we're going to alt right click this edge. Mark it sharp with control E. Mark sharp. In the properties window, click the little wrench icon, add modifier, edge split, turn off edge angle, leave sharp edges checked. Now right click select the supports and tassels object after you go back to object mode. I'm going to apply this first. Now we're going to select the tassel and support object. Hold shift and right click the body. Now we go to control J to join them. Now they're joined as one single object again. If you hit A to unselect you can see now that you can select them.
this one whole object again and now we're going to go back over here to object and name this high LOD you could add a couple of extra edge loops to redefine the rim of the high LOD shape if you wanted to but I'm going to leave it at this level now finally we're going to go back and close the top of the medium LOD model. 